How to post everywhere on social media with N8N and Make.com. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through a simple system where you can track all of your content in a Google Sheet. And when something is ready to post, you change its status to ready to post. And then your N8N or Make.com automation pulls the content that's ready to post and then pushes it out to nine social platforms. And finally, updates the status of the item in your Google Sheet. This system is really powerful because you can customize every single step. For example, if you want to post slideshows to TikTok, carousels to Instagram, videos to YouTube, long form threads to Twitter threads and Blue Sky, you can do all of the above. By the way, you can download these templates, check the video description for the link. You don't need to sign up for any community to get these templates. Real quick, if you don't know me, my name is Sabrina Romanov. I've grown from zero to one million followers in the past year. I previously sold an AI company for millions of dollars and now I've built an AI app called Blotato that you can use for publishing to social platforms. First, we're going to walk through a high level of how the automation works, and then I'll walk you through how to set it up for both N8N and Make.com. So this section over here in purple basically checks your Google Sheets every three hours, looks for anything that is ready to post, grabs one of the items. So even if you have multiple items, it's only going to grab one so that you don't spam social platforms with too many posts at the same time. It fetches the unique Google Drive ID of the media, the image or video that you're posting, uploads it to Blotato, and then this green section over here is what pushes it out to all of the social platforms. Now for each of these sections, I've put a lot of documentation on what you need to get it going, how this template works, links to helpful stuff, as well as platform specific notes. It looks like a lot, but I wanted to be thorough with the documentation. Over here in make.com, it's the same exact process. So this checks for anything ready to post, gets the ID, uploads the asset to Blotato, and then pushes it out to all the social platforms. Okay, so how do you actually set this up? In order to post to social media, we're gonna use an API that I've built called Blotato. I built it for myself because it was really painful to publish to social media in N8N and make.com. So sign up for this. Once you're in, go to settings on the bottom left, go to API and generate your API key. Note that this is a paid feature, so I'm trying to reduce spam, so this feature is not available on the free trial. Once you have your API key, you're gonna install the Blotato node. Go to the admin panel of your N8N instance. The Blotato node is an approved N8N community node, so you can install it on cloud-hosted N8N as well as self-hosted N8N. So here, go to your admin panel, scroll down, make sure you have this beta feature enabled, the ability to use verified community nodes. Okay, save changes. Make sure you install the community node first, but if you went ahead and imported this template and now you see a bunch of question marks, go to the right hand side, make sure verified community nodes is enabled in your admin panel like we talked about, and then search for Blotato and then click install node. Once it's installed, then all of these question marks will go away, but I recommend installing the Blotato node before importing the template because if you try to do it after importing the template, then everything here will be blank. Just open up any existing N8N project, search for Blotato, install it, and then import this. Okay, once you have that set up, you're going to add a credential with your Blotato API key. Creden copy API key to Blotato here, click save. It's going to test the connection. Once you've done that, go ahead and open this up and make sure you select the Blotato credential that you just created. You don't need to change anything else. The next step is to connect your account, open up each node, and then make sure your credential is selected and then choose the TikTok account that you wanna to publish to. Okay, you don't need to change anything else. And then go ahead and do that for each one. So choose your LinkedIn account, choose your Facebook account. For Facebook, you'll have to choose a page as well, okay? Choose your Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Threads, Blue Sky, and Pinterest. For Pinterest, you will need to put your board ID as well. So I'll show you how to get that. Go over to Blotato create post, create a sample Pinterest post, then click publish. Here in this dropdown, select the board you wanna to publish to and you're gonna see your board ID right here. So go ahead and type that into Pinterest board. I recommend when you're testing this out to deactivate the nodes that you don't need, right? So start with one at a time. Let's like deactivate them all. 
okay? And just start by testing TikTok or start by testing LinkedIn. Now, the last piece we're going to set up is the Google Sheet. So I tried to make this as simple as possible, but you can always customize and build complexity on top. This is just the bare minimum that you need for your Google Sheet. So this will be a title for your video, and this will be used in YouTube as the title. This is the media URL. So drop the image or video into a Google Drive folder that is publicly accessible so that our automation can go ahead and fetch that image or video. This is the caption that will be published along with the video. And then this is the status, really simple. In progress, you're currently working on it, it's ready to post or it's been posted. If you go back to the automation, so here you can see the link to this Google Sheet, copy this sample Google Sheet, boom. Okay, so copy it to your folder and ensure that your Google Drive folder containing your media is actually public. So whatever folder where you are dumping these images or videos, make sure that, that folder is public so that Blotato can grab the images and videos to post to social media. Once you have that, you're pretty much ready to go. When you're testing it, change one of these items to ready to post. What I like to do for testing is to run this section first, then pin the data at this step, and then test each of these platforms. Okay, so to run just this section, you can click this play button above here and it's just going to run this initial section. Okay, when it's done, open this other menu, click pin. And what this is going to do is just save the data at this step so you don't have to rerun this section every time that you want to test these nodes. And then to test one at a time, open up TikTok, just make sure your account is selected and then you can click execute step up here or you can click the play button here to test one at a time. I want to show you some other links as well. So to go to the Blotato API docs, just click this link, help.blotato.com. To troubleshoot errors, this is super handy. So if you go to blotato.com slash API dashboard here, you can see all of the requests so far. If there's an error, you'll see it highlighted in red or yellow like this. For things that are completed, you can even view the successful post. You can see the entire request payload. So this is incredibly useful for debugging. Each platform does have specific media requirements. So here is a list of media requirements per platform. So that's this link here. And if you need additional help, I'm always happy to help troubleshoot people's automations. Click this orange button on the bottom right corner. And I try to answer to everything within 24 hours on most weekdays. And that's pretty much it to get it up and running. Step one was to set up this Google Sheet, right? And you will need to configure this node. You'll need to select your own Google Sheet, not my Google Sheet. Make sure that we are filtering on the column status. What this means is we're looking for records that are ready to post, ready to post okay and then return only first matching row because you don't want to take three items and then post them to nine social platforms because that would be considered spamming so you just want to take one thing that's ready to post then this automation will check again in three hours to look for another thing that's ready to post and then go post it obviously you can tweak this as well if you wanted to check more frequently, reduce this. If you want a bigger spacing, increase this. Okay, and then don't touch this. All it does is extract the ID. Step two, just make sure you set up your Blotato credential. And then step three is just to choose the social accounts you wanna to publish to. And that's pretty much it and it should work. On the right hand side here, I put platform specific notes. So a couple things I wanna point out that are really important. Please don't use any third party tool or automation when posting to TikTok. If your account is brand new and not warmed up yet, you will be shadow banned instantly and it will ruin that particular account. So follow this warm up guide, just click this. This is a complete warm up guide for new TikTok accounts. And for each platform, there's a set of best practices and specific troubleshooting FAQs. So for example, a TikTok here, how to connect your TikTok accounts, brand new accounts, best practices playbook. This is based on my own experience growing from zero to half a million TikTok followers and a troubleshooting section. You'll see this link for each platform and it'll contain best practices and troubleshooting tips for each social platform. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the NADN version. Uh, I'll walk through make.com really quickly, but it's very, very similar, right? First to set how often this will run, click here down in the bottom. Right now I have it running every three hours, so 180 minutes, but obviously you can tweak this. Open it up and yeah, make sure you have a Google Sheets connected. 
make sure it's pointing the, to the correct sheet ID and this should be the query. So select all records that are ready to post, but limit it to the first one. Again, so we don't spam the social platforms. Get the Google Drive ID, you don't need to do anything. And by the way, there's a little note on top of each of these, right? So here's the Google Sheet you can copy. This says, don't touch this. This one says, all you have to do is select your Blotato account. So open this up, select your Blotato account. You do not need to change this URL, it already works. And just like NADN, just select the accounts that you want to post to, and I've put helpful documentation here. So select your TikTok account, you can post images, videos, and slideshows, links here as well. Okay, let's open this up. So create that Blotato connection, choose your platform, choose your TikTok account, and additional parameters here. But for your first run through, you don't need to change any of these things. I just want to show that if you do want to customize some parameters, click show advanced settings, and you'll see a lot more parameters. For example, your slideshow title, music for the slideshow, whether you want to disable any of these things, right? Similarly for LinkedIn, make your connection, choose your LinkedIn account. If you want to publish to a page, here it is. And and do the same thing. So Pinterest, this is where you're going to have to put in your board ID. The last step is it updates the spreadsheet. So the item that has just been posted will have the status posted. If you need any additional help or have questions on the API, go to help.blotato.com. There's a whole section for the API. If you want the detailed API docs, I have reference over here that goes into a lot more information, but these templates should work out of the box. Again, all you have to do is set up that Google Sheets connection your Blotato accounts and then choose which social accounts that you want to publish to. If you have any questions or need help debugging your automation, remember to go into Blotato, click this orange button and send me a message. Thanks for watching. If you want more tutorials on NADN and make.com, hit like, hit subscribe and drop a comment below. Would love to hear from you.